What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. If you are, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. When the robots inevitably take over being controlled by Elon Musk, they will attack you. Yeah, that's right. But if you press the like button, I promise you every robot that Elon Musk controls will be cool with you. Today, I've got a story about some uh, angry people being angry. You know how it is. For some reason, people just I, uh, attract anger to me. I'm not sure sure if it's just because I'm like a champion at baiting people into getting pissed off, but for whatever reason, I've just got a lot of experiences with angry people losing it. They didn't lose it on me, though. This is actually just something I witnessed while I was at my friend's house and he was throwing a party, but regardless, it ended up with uh, their neighbor trying to sue him for like disrupting the peace. Classic stuff. Classic stuff. Boomers just don't like fun. Whenever an old person sees anyone having fun, they're like, hey, I haven't had fun in 60 years. That's not allowed. It so somebody stop that kid. He's having fun. So my friend decided to throw a pool party back in uh, our senior year of high school, you know, and he didn't throw it at night. He didn't throw it late. At like 1 p.m., we're having this pool party in the backyard. Everybody's ha hanging out. Everybody's having a good time. And uh, because it's like the middle of the day on the weekend, we didn't really worry about being extra loud, but we weren't that loud. You know, obviously a party in someone's backyard with kids and music, like, it's gonna be a little noisy, but at 1 p.m., you know, and we're not bogging anybody, bogging, bugging anybody. We're just kind of chilling in my friend's backyard. We didn't think anything of it that much. So, whatever, everybody's hanging out, listening to music, having themselves the best time ever. And to be honest, we were being really nice to their neighbors. Like, yeah, the neighbors that lived behind him actually came to the party and were hanging out with his parents inside. Like, his parents were home. They knew there was going on. There's not any, like underage drink and there was really nothing bad going on it was just people hanging out at the pool with music playing but i guess you know for whatever reason one of the people who lived across the street from him i don't know if it was directly across the street or like kind of across the street decides that you know when he gets out of his car after parking it in the driveway and can hear music that's too loud all right i i can firmly tell you right now with confidence there is no way this dude could hear the music from inside his house and it was around the time like 1 p.m 2 p.m where people would be like coming home anyways not from work but like from what they were doing all day so we're pretty sure that he just kind of heard the music when he got out of his car and was going inside and for whatever reason he just decides you know that uh it, it is indeed the time to go over there and ruin the party no more fun allowed so as this party's going on everybody's sitting back drinking their capri sun's doing the best i see this like old boomer dude walk in the side gate walk over to the speaker and like pick it up and it was just like a bluetooth speaker and he starts walking away so the music starts to fade and that's when everybody else at the party kind of realizes this old dude like walking away with the speaker and i hear one of the kids at the party be like dad what are you doing and i guess one of the kids who was at the party with us it was like his dad so the kid who owns the house me and then the kid's son like walked after the dude and i don't know why i went i probably shouldn't have but like i just saw him take the speaker so i just went with them and then it's the kid whose house it is and the kid's son not the kid's son the the guy's son the kid doesn't have a son that would be really weird like that that, that would be that would be stressful so we get into like the driveway now right and this boomer is still walking away with the speaker just ruining the party so his son goes up to him and like grabs his arm and he rips his arm away all sassily and he goes son get back in the house i can't believe you were partaking and disrupting the peace of the neighborhood do you have any idea how loud that music is and keep in mind the music is still playing and i can hear him saying all of this over the speaker so obviously the music is really not as loud as this dude is saying so the the guy's son is kind of like dad the music's not that loud chill out like go back to the house come on we're just having a good time like can you just give him the speaker back and he's like no i'm not gonna give you the speaker back it's disgusting that you guys think that you have the right to throw a party it's like, bro, it's 1 p.m. on a Saturday, dude. Like, uh, w when else do you want us to throw a party? Would you rather us throw parties at 3 in the morning? C come on. So whatever, the neighbor gets all and just starts walking away. So the kid looks back at the kid who owns the house, and he's like, I'm so sorry. And my friend whose house it is goes, no, 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 don't worry about it. Uh, we'll just get a different speaker and the kid looks at us and he's like wait for real and my friends like yeah I mean we'll get the speaker back eventually But I don't think your dad understands that that's not the only speaker that we have 
So the dad is all huffing and puffing back across the street with a speaker in his hand. So my friend disconnects the Bluetooth from the speaker, walks into the garage, gets another one, connects it, and starts playing music and starts walking back to the backyard. But as he's walking to the backyard, the dad realizes that there's now more music coming back from across the street. And he sees us and his son going back into the backyard with a new speaker. Which I mean, look, look, in the grand scheme of things, it's not my fault that we just outsmarted the boomer, okay? So boomer storms back across the street opens the side gate, picks up the new speaker, and just storms out of there with the uh, sass of a male Karen, all right? I didn't think it was possible. What, what should we call male Karens? Like, Daryl's? I don't know. What, what do you call? You guys comment down below what you think, like, the best male Karen name would be, because I honestly have no idea. N nothing rings the same, okay? So, uh, if anyone figures it out, I'd appreciate it. Regardless, he huffs and puffs, grabs the new speaker, and just walks out in the driveway. So, once again... Me, my friend, and his son go out there, and we're like, dude, stop, come on. And he looks at the kid who owns the house and his son, and he's like, the fact that you'd be so disrespectful. You know I could sue you right now. I could sue you guys for disrupting the peace. And obviously, everybody's rolling their eyes, and I, I just have this problem. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying you guys should try to be like me, but it's the truth. I have a really, really hard time keeping my mouth shut when someone is, like, making me annoyed. I, I have a very short fuse when it comes to just snapping on people. And this dude has officially harshed the mellow, bro. I was vibing. I was really just chilling, doing my thing. But then Boomer Tech over here had to come in and ruin the party for no reason. So he's just being all over the place. Apparently now oh, I'm gonna sue you for disrupting the peace, which would probably be the lamest court case ever. Like, um, yes, your highness. Is that what you call a judge, your highness? That might be the Queen of England. What? Either way, whether it's the Queen of England or a judge, I'm not really too sure what you call him, but your highness is what I'm gonna go with. Uh, these, these kids, you see, what happened was they were having a party at 1 p.m. with a Bluetooth speaker that's literally not possible to get loud enough to disrupt a neighborhood. Have you ever heard a Bluetooth speaker that's loud enough to interrupt an entire neighborhood? If you do have a Bluetooth speaker that could actually make noises so loud that eight houses down can hear it clearly and, like, ruin their vibe, then, uh... You need to go work for NASA because you're probably a sound engineer. That's impressive. If anybody has a speaker that powerful, let me drop the Amazon link. I'll kick you a little bit of a commission because that's that's dope. Anyways, I'm pretty fed up at this point. So I look at the dude and I say, just because you weren't invited to any parties in high school doesn't mean that you get to come around and ruin everybody else's, all right? So how about you go across the street, watch some TV, and chill out, bro? Because we're not going to stop this party even if there's no music. And he looks at me and he like like stares into my soul with those beady little eyes. And he's like, who do you think you are? And I'm like, dude, I'm nobody, but I don't know why you hate people having fun so much. Go home. And uh, he gets all aggro and he looks at me and he looks at everybody and he goes, you know, I could sue you for that. And I said, for what? And he's like, what you just said is technically slander because you did it in front of people. And I was like, dude, did you go to parties in high school? He's like, yeah, I went to tons, but I am I could sue you. What's your name? Like, do, do you think you're funny? Do you think you get to walk around and insult people and there be no consequences? I could sue you, which is actually somehow dumber than suing somebody for the Bluetooth speaker they had at the pool party. Um, yes, officer. I was called out on the fact that I was never invited to parties in high school in front of my son, and, uh, it was very embarrassing, and I need him to go to jail immediately because crimes of embarrassment should be against the law, it's cruel and unusual punishment, and it's very disgusting that this boy exists. So, I kinda tell him that there's no way you're gonna sue a kid for just being disrespectful, and once again, to go home because he's ruining the party, and at this point, he's getting all flustered, alright, because I'm not gonna back down, and also, I know this guy is not going to sue me for being mean to him, dude. That would that would be the lamest lawsuit ever. Yes, that's right. A local court case where a boy, a 17-year-old uh, a boy, is being sued by a 55-year-old man for saying that he was a loser in high school. Uh, yeah, yeah, very disrespectful. Uh, we're going to be standing for more details. The current punishment that he's looking at is the death penalty. Honestly, I hope he dies. He kind of deserves it. So he's getting flustered. So he does the only logical thing in his dad brain. He looks at the speaker that he has in the hand and then throws it on the ground and breaks it and goes, we'll enjoy your party with no speaker and walks back across the street. And, uh, you know, at this point I recoiled and realized that I just watched a grown man throw a temper tantrum. You just took a kid's speaker and smashed it because you got called out for not being popular in high school, bro. That is not a flex. That is a fat L. As for the party, you know, he did break the speaker and he did take our other one. Uh, basically, I went to my car, got a Bluetooth speaker that I had in my trunk out, and went back to the pool party. So, 
He achieved nothing. Uh, I, I did have, like, a really awkward interaction with the kid whose dad it was, though, because, you know, I kind of just insulted his dad until he broke a speaker and had a temper tantrum. The rest of the party was, uh, pretty chill. Everybody obviously was laughing at the fact that an old man, like, walked across and explaining it to everybody was chill. And, uh, yeah, we, we had another Bluetooth speaker and everything was good to go. Uh, the only awkward thing, like I said, is having to look a man in the eyes and know that I just insulted his father to the point of throwing a temper tantrum. On that note, though, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you turn on the notifications for this channel, send a screenshot to my channel, not my channel, my Instagram, at Scrubby. I shout somebody out every day, and today's notification shout-out goes to Cosmosword420. Big thank you for the uh, notifications. Other than that, I also tweet a stupid question every day and, and, and highlight the best answers. So today's question was, if you had three wishes, what would they be? Personally, I would wish for, uh, I don't know, I, my life's pretty dope thanks to you guys, but, uh, you guys said, one, be able to buy my merch, it definitely said my merch and not my better brother Benji. Two, not be broke, get money. Well, I mean, that those are pretty two similar wishes. But uh, speaking of merch, be sure you head over to teespring.com and check out the Scrubs merch for the best merch in the game. Get rich, get immortal, and then dead by reversing immortality. To have your number, a PS4, and 18 billion dollars to take care of some stuff stuff that I want done, as well as my family. Yeah, just a casual 18 billion to take care of that light stuff you gotta take care of. Me too, man. Me too. Anyways, guys, don't get anyone pregnant if you do. Make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.